Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to connect uh, Lumix TZ80 uh, with Wi-Fi uh, to operate uh, recording on the uh, Macintosh MacBook Air. Of course we need to set Wi-Fi on here, I'm going to show you in a minute. And we need on both special application uh, that application is image application from Panasonic. So we need to set Wi-Fi. So we go in here in that little wrench icon, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi function, new connection, and remote shooting and view. That's what we or we I mean we're looking for. Now you can see that that Wi-Fi should be easy to find on any uh, Wi-Fi receiver or router or device that actually can connect to the Wi-Fi. So now. We're going back to MacBook Air and first thing we have to do is we need to find it in our network. So we're finding here. Now you can see we connected it here. So the connection, direct connection between those two devices must be established first. Then you can start the program. And it should be found very easily. Yes, it's already found. So now you can choose between remote operation and transfer images. So, so what we can do with this, we can actually change many things. We can make close-ups. And uh, we can change ISO, which is quite good. We can start recording, but anyway, we can change uh, auto exposure as well. We can click which one we, we want to, so it's very easy and convenient. You can actually press to this point or this point, you can reset it. And for instance, if you want to make uh, a little more focused on clothes or dark clothes, uh, so you can actually focus here, set it, and now everything in the camera is actually uh, focused on this little point in here. We can go to the menu as well, and you can change the photo style to, for instance, the vivid one, then return, and you can actually change everything that you can normally change during the uh, using normal display on the camera. And we can press recording, and we can stop the recording. So now everything is okay and we can actually see everything here. So now we are in live control. So you you get available as well the standard menu that you've got in the MacBook. So you can actually being in the in this uh, application you can use this menu in here. So you can minimize maximize the window. Uh, you can close you can change to the portrait orientation. It works very good with the uh, remote controlling, but if you want to transfer any pictures or videos uh, over the Wi-Fi, there's actually probably no point because it's much faster if you connect the cable. So as you can see guys, it's very easy. Connection, the most important thing is just you need to always start the camera first. 
So th thanks guys for watching. I hope it helps. I know there is uh, uh, a lot of confusion, especially when finding the camera on Wi-Fi. Find your camera, make direct connection, and that's it. And, and there is no problems.